Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech. In today's video, guys, we're going to be having a look at a very, very small CPU core from Noctua. This is the NHL9X65, which is an actual um, performance enhanced version of the L9i, which was a very, very, very small CPU cooler for Intel platforms. They do also make an Intel one. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to call it. It's probably just the L replaced with an A. Simple kind of naming there. But yeah, the L9X65. I've got it here actually. It's not a, not a very big cooler, but it does feature one of Noctua's fans, which is probably going to be very, very quiet. And also does feature four heat pipes. As you know, heat pipes are very, very good at dissipating heat and a lot better than just sheer aluminum. So yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see how this performs. I'm also going to be using this cooler in my actual gaming PC builds, my mini ITX gaming PC build for 2016. So yeah, if you guys want to see this cooler actually used in a build, then do feel free, yeah, do feel free to check out that video. So without further ado, let's check out this cooler from Noctua and yeah, let's see how it performs. To get started as always, as for a quick unboxing, inside the box we are presented with the accessory box. This contains all the usual Noctua accessories including very solid metal pieces for installation onto both AMD and Intel platforms. Other accessories include the NCH1 thermal compound, a low noise adapter, a metal Noctua case badge and a screwdriver needed for the installation. You'll also find three instruction manuals of which all make the cooler look very easy to install on all platforms it supports, with AMD platforms and Intel's LGA2011 platform, including only a few steps making this cooler look like child's play to install. On to a further look at the unit, the cooler's dimensions with the fan attached are 95 by 95 mm with the height being 65 mm, hence the name. These dimensions make this extremely small, a very small amount higher than the Intel stock cooler, making this cooler very ideal for people wanting to install it in cases of very little cooler clearance. As for the weight, it comes in at 413 grams, including the fan. The heatsink features a tightly packed fin stack with four 6mm copper heat pipes passing through the heatsink. On the bottom of the cooler you find a somewhat reflective shiny base and therefore will mean it will be easy to remove thermal compound in the future. The heatsink has been fully nickel plated and therefore has a silver colour throughout and looks pretty damn good. As for the fan included is the NFA9X14, a 14mm thick 90mm fan. This attaches to the heatsink with two metal clips and brown rubber dampeners. The RPM range for this fan is between 500 to 2200 RPM, with the fan's RPM having the potential to be limited to 1700 RPM max with the RC9 low noise adapter. Moving on to the installation of this cooler onto my test rig, you want to start off by soldering the included black metal backplate on your motherboard and placing the four washers over the bolts. With the washers in place, you can place the two mounting bars on top of them and then screw down the mounting bars with the four thumb screws. The last step is to add a little thermal compound as per the manual and screw down the cooler with the two pre-attached screws. Overall, this cooler is very easy to install and is like many other of Noctua's coolers I've installed in the past. Finally onto the performance, testing this cooler on my i7-4790K with all cores locked at 4GHz with the automatic voltage set. The NH-L9X65 is able to keep the CPU running at a surprisingly cool 66 degrees Celsius. This is while of course running my usual benchmark of rendering out the pretty intensive 2016 How to Build a Gaming PC guide in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. As to the performance of the cooler with the low noise adapter attached, the temperature increased to 69 degrees, making this cooler of course not perform as well, but did decrease noise levels by a small amount. Although this cooler is definitely not meant for overclocking at all, I wanted to see how it fared with my 4.4GHz 1.25V overclock. The temperatures recorded was a very hot 89 degrees, very warm compared to many dual tower coolers we've tested in the past, however a lot better than the two Intel stock coolers, of which both failed this test at 100 degrees, causing the CPU to thermal throttle. Overall, this cooler did a fantastic job at keeping the i7-4790K cool and does justify the cost when you take into consideration the small amount of noise this cooler does make at stock speeds and how small the cooler actually is, even when compared to the traditional low-profile cooler with a large fan and a horizontal fin stack. And now, let's roll the outro and conclude on the NH-L9X65 cooler from Noctua. So guys, oh yeah, there are the benchmarks and in general, my review of this cooler. In general, it does perform very, very well and I am actually pleased with the cooler. And for it coming in for about £35 here in the UK, it's actually not bad. And when you consider the performance of this cooler compared to some low profile coolers that are actually a little bit bigger, and do, shall I say, incorporate the, the more traditional fin stack, this cooler is not bad. It isn't bad at all. And I think um, when you consider the noise of this fan that not you have strapped to it, it's very very good um, and if anything probably one of the smallest coolers um, when you consider the performance you get from it. So the performance you're getting when you consider the in incredibly small size I think it's excellent and one of the main reasons that today I'll be recommending it. So guys thank you very much for checking out this video on the L9 um, I'm just gonna 
NHL Man X65, <laughs> quite a long name, but yeah, would recommend it, and yeah, thank you for checking out the review. Um, as always, you'll find a link to Nacho's website for further specifications, and also an Amazon link to purchase the cooler. So guys, thank you for watching, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.